Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the canals in Venice of America. This is the canal that uh, Abbott Kinney opened on July 4th, 1905. And if you look over my right shoulder, you can see some canoes there. We're going to actually take a canoe out and traverse the canals. And uh, you can go ahead and have a duck's eye view of the canals. Here's the bridge I was just standing on. And... Over here we have the canoe we're going to take out today, and I've got a paddle in there. It's actually half a paddle from a kayak, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get on in this canoe here. Uh, being very careful to step in the center. I've already untied it, so here we go shoving off here. So you can see the beautiful canal view. And I'm going to show you some of the more interesting areas of the canal. Uh, almost everybody has a boat. There are a lot of boats out here, but a lot of them have been abandoned. Uh, it rained recently, and so a lot of the canoes are filled with water. And that was like about three weeks ago, so it's kind of surprising that uh, people haven't taken care of their canoes and dumped the water out. Here's a really old canoe over here, and right next to it is a rowboat. So there are no oars. I would expect that uh, whoever owns the rowboat has their oars uh, in the garage or somewhere locked up. Uh, most of the canoes that are out uh, don't have any kind of oars or anything, although once in a while you're going to see an uh, electric motor stuck on one of them. Yep, here's the USS Donkey over here. You see it has a uh, electric motor stuck on the back. But uh, once again, I think it's this one's filled with water too. Yeah, you can see there's the inside of it. It's all filled with water. You know, one of the great things about the canals is people decorate the bridges. You can see behind me the bridge I just went through has uh, some lights on it, some Christmas lights, and uh, they light it up at night around uh, the Christmas holidays, and uh, it's really, oh, hello, <laughs> almost tipped over there. So down there is uh, the end of the canals as it exists today. Of course, uh, back in 1905 in the Abbott Kinney times, the canals went much further down to the traffic circle and beyond. The traffic circle was originally the lagoon, and uh, but right now there's a little launch down there, so if you have a boat and you want to put it into the canal, you can actually uh, go to the parking lot on uh, the corner of um, Ocean Avenue and uh, Venice Boulevard, and there's a parking lot there, and you can just drop your, your boat uh, right into the canals uh, via the launch there at the end. But we're not going to go down there uh, right now. Uh, today, I think we're going to go uh, head down this way a little bit, and I'm going to show you some uh, some features that are quite interesting. There's another canoe. Uh, it's all filled with water, as you can see, and there's a paddle boat. Some people have these great little paddle boats, and uh, they've got coolers, and this one's got a, a, sh a sunshade you can put up. And uh, over here, there's, there's another one right there. So, I kind of want a paddle boat. I think that'd be fun to take friends out on, but uh, all we have are canoes. Here's another rowboat over here. That one looks like it's all dried out, there's no water in it right now. There are plenty more canoes and kayaks. And so we're going to head, uh, head on down here. Here is a really nicely decorated holiday bridge, and you can see uh, um, someone has put uh, you know, Christmas balls up there. There's a little Christmas wreath. and um, at night it lights up too, so um, I wish I could show you this at night, but it's really too dangerous to, uh, to ride your canoe at night because there's really no, no street lights in the canals. It's very dark and quiet, and uh, so the daytime is the best time to film. And then in the distance you can see the little gingerbread house left over from the holiday uh, canal boat parade, and uh, we're going to take a closer look at that in just a moment. I wish people wouldn't uh, drop their garbage into the canals. Uh, somebody's got a beer bottle sticking out over here. I'm going to try to grab it. 
because uh, if I can, you know, take the garbage out, I will uh, to do my best to help try to keep the canal clean. But uh, if everybody would just, you know, start treating the canals with respect, we wouldn't have uh, have this problem. Okay. Uh... Here's the gingerbread house uh, boat I told you about. This was uh, featured in this year's Holiday Boat Canal Parade, which they hold uh, about a week before uh, Christmas. And uh, there were a lot of really fun boats, but now it's, well, it's almost the end of January, and it's still here. So now it's become, gone from being a, uh, a fun boat feature to a, in a parade to uh, really an eyesore. So, but who, whoever as it is, is just uh, letting it sit there and rot. Now, if we uh, we pan over here, we can see um, in the distance there's kind of a duck boat over there. We're going to get closer to it and uh, examine it a little more closely. Here are some ducks. The ducks are uh, a prominent feature here in the canals, and uh, they've been here since probably since the Abbot Kinney days. So people love the ducks, and uh, we try not to bother them. But uh, this is a great opportunity to get some uh, some duck footage here. They're sitting on uh, somebody's barge. They have a little miniature barge that they use. Now right over next to the barge, uh, some more boats, and there's the duck boat. Now this really looks like it's a refugee from an amusement park. I really think somebody bought this as surplus from a closed amusement park because uh, it seems to be, you know, the sort of a ride type of vehicle. And um, I'm not sure if there's pedals in it or what. So here's some girls. They're out for a, a jaunt on the canal. And they've got their uh, paddle board and their kayak. And they seem to be having a great time. Uh, most of these homes on the canal are, are very expensive. I mean, just to land alone because it's next to the canal. And if you'd bought a home here in the 1970s, you might have paid, uh, you know, five or ten thousand dollars for one of these homes. Today, uh, even the crappiest, smallest home in dilapidated condition will cost you 1.5 or 1.6 million. So that'll give you an idea, you know, how much something like that probably costs, you know, that's been heavily improved and very modern. You know, you're, you're talking, you know, over two mil. Uh, this is one of my favorite canoes here. This is a, a Mondrian canoe. You can see if you're fans of the painter uh, Mondrian, you can see the distinctive uh, Mondrian uh, type pattern on the boat. So here we're heading uh, further down the canal now, and uh, I'm going to show you some some more interesting sights. Uh, for those of you wondering uh, what the water is in the canal, uh, it is salt water, and it comes in from uh, there's a, it comes in from the marina actually from Marina del Rey. There is a passageway uh, that connects the canals to the marina. However, uh, boats cannot traverse this. Uh, passage. It's uh, water only. And they use a gate system to uh, lock the canals down against the current. And uh, But uh, they will drain the canal. They'll let the canal go down about once a week. And it, uh, right now it's, uh, it's, it's at the highest it, it usually gets. You can see by the where the stones are over here. And that'll go down so far that you can see uh, the land. The canal actually is only a few feet deep maybe three feet deep. So um, there's no chance of, uh, of getting into real trouble in the canal. If you, if you, if you fall in, uh, you could just stand right up and walk to shore. There, someone had a sense of humor when they named their boat the Misunderstood. There's another little canoe there. Now if we look over here, there's an interesting feature, this pink tent. Someone has a, uh, like a pink cabana in their front yard. We'll get a closer look at that in a minute. So this appears to be a whimsical nod to 1950s suburban America with the pink flamingos and the pink cabana. 
so it's uh, it's sort of amusing, and um, I've never seen anybody in there, but uh, it looks like a great place to have a party. Here's a statue of a boy fishing. And here we see the Starship Enterprise, left over from another holiday canal boat parade, and uh, it's been sitting here uh, as long as I've been here, which has uh, not been too long, about uh, uh, five months. So, but uh, it must have been something in its day, uh, parading down the holiday boat parade, all lit up uh, in all its uh, uh, Star Trek glory. This is the Kissing Bridge, and if you are, if you want to kiss somebody, you should take them to the bridge, and you could either paddle under it or walk over it, and when you're in the middle of the bridge, kiss them. There's a kitty cat in a boat. Maybe he's going to go for a canoe ride. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty cat. It's a good boy. You like the water? It's unusual for a kitty. This is really pretty. Look at all those plants. It's very tropical. Lovely front yard. Lovely house. Yeah, it's a balloon. Yeah, if I don't pick it up, it'll just sit there. The canals look a lot nicer without garbage. These are some beautiful houses on the canal. It's, uh, there are two houses right next to each other. They obviously were built at the same time, and I think they're still actually owned by the same family. Uh, it's quite a huge complex, and it takes up the corner of... Um, Eastern Canal and uh, Carroll Carroll Canal and um, they used to dress these these houses up uh, for Halloween and Christmas and they used to really do it big but now they don't seem to do it anymore I don't know why and um, but they're still beautiful homes you can see how they lend themselves to the Christmas theme you've got the red and the white and uh, the green, and uh, they're just beautiful homes. We'll try to get another angle as we uh, as we go by. This is Linden Canal. It's the most westerly of the canals, and uh, it looks kind of like the rest of the canals. <laughs> so. I think uh, at this point we're probably just going to turn back. Right, here are some rowers with the mermaid. So you decided to all go out for a row, huh? Yeah, we did. That's great. That's what it's for, huh? Hey, relax, Lulu. You guys want to be on YouTube? You want to be on YouTube? Um, no thanks. No thanks? All right, I'll be sure to cut this out then. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head back into dock here and uh, round up our canal adventure. And uh, if you're interested in the canals, you can look up uh, Abbott Kinney on Wikipedia. And find out all about uh, how the canals first uh, were conceived by Abbott Kinney and uh, Venice of America and, and what happened to them. Um, there's only a, a little piece of the canals left from the original days. Okay, we're all, we're all tied off here, and uh, it's been great having you on our canal adventure. We've got all our, our garbage out of the boat, and uh, take a little trip to the dumpster, and until uh, next time.